Hi, Libra. This is Jess with your general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Libra, uh, for those of you who are new, do check out the description box below for the timestamps if you want to go straight to love. And in also, you can find the link to the website if you want a personal read. Let's get into the reading. Well, it seems like you guys have a couple of people. Life seems to be going really, really well for you Libras out here. So you guys going to parties, celebration, festivities, weddings. Um, things are just kind of coming together very nicely. Some of you may be in business partnership with two other men, whether you work with them or just have a business that you run. But it looks like things are moving swiftly and things are developing nicely. OK, you may have two men. Some of you even could be what do they call sugar babies, sh sugar babies or sugar daddies um, where you just give or you get easily, you know, people paying your bills and taking care of rent. Like you just may have things on lockdown and everything is going nice and nice and very nice. Some of you could be on your way of preparing to get married and you, that's what you're going through, the marriage and that sort of thing and taking things to the next level, buying a home. Like you're going to the next level of your life and for all of you to be different what that is. So right now it doesn't look like Libras are having any issues. <laughs> Seems like everything is just going nice. Except for some of you ladies could have two men. One that, again, does for you. Um, the other that you have a real relationship with. Some of you are going to get pregnant. That's what you don't see coming. And you're going to be like pregnant, married, and in a home with someone. There's someone that's coming back. God damn, ladies, you have several people who are going to want you. That's what you don't see coming. New love coming in. Um, this could be an aggressive female if you're same-sex loving um, or, uh, you know, um, if you're same sex, the person is will be more aggressive towards you. If you are of the opposite sex loving, then um, there's going to be um, a male that comes in um, or you get like very attracted to someone. So I see someone coming in, but it doesn't stop there. It's just like a lot. It's not a lot of sexual attraction with people. It's a lot of emotional attraction. So I do get people coming in wanting to be with you. I don't care if you're in a relationship, you may get a lot, like your person can get a lot of competition at this time. Like, I don't know what the hell y'all, you guys are giving off, but it's a lot of it. <laughs> people want to love you, be have sex with you, support you, be there for you. So you will get a lot of, a lot of that. A lot of that. And you just will be shocked. Like, damn, that type of thing. And if you are a same-sex loving woman, um, you're going to be shocked at just how many men are feeling like it's time for you to go back the other way. <laughs> if you are employed, it looks like you're going to get out of your head whatever you were overthinking at work and just get the work done. And you're going to find that you have more fun with with it that way. Some of you could even have a, a befriend, a Firestein woman, and but you will just be more up for getting your work done and getting things done at the workplace. If you're unemployed looking for work, some of you need to clean up your resume. You need to do something, something you're doing and you're staying in a stagnant place. So you need to get a car. You need to clean up your resume. You need to sharpen your skills. You need to do something so that this can start moving forward and people will start showing interest in you. Because right now I see that you're not getting calls, no interest. And that's because you need to make some changes, whether get your ass up and start doing something or um, refresh and, and renew and learn more. You were stressed out about something for those of you who have your own business and you may even feel like you wanted to take a step back from your business, but you're going to get clarity about something and breathe new breath in your business. Um, and things are going to get better. So if you had to cut out certain people, you'll replace them with better. Um, I just see new opportunities coming regarding your business and you're going to find a new way. Sorry, you're going to find a new way um, to cultivate this business and probably take it in, in a new direction. OK. Some of you may even be thinking about how do I cut out the middleman, something about a middleman that you want to cut out and you you want to be more of the go to person, whatever that means. Let's get into love. Oh, I didn't do. I got to look. OK. Hold on, guys. So single Libra ladies in love. You, you're coming across stress the hell out. Work 
work is all over your body, all over your energy. So people can see that you're stressed. Either you're too focused on another person that you really want. And that'll be very obvious. Like she's not available. She wants someone else um, because you're obsessed over someone else. If that's the case, if it's the person you're obsessed over them um, or work has you obsessed and stressed out. You're getting out of your head. You're going to actually start getting out, going out. Um, some of you may get into going into strip, going going to strip clubs or going inside a strip club. You may be wanting to go and it's like, now nah, I'm actually going to go. Um, you have someone here, a fire, uh, could be a fire sign man who wants you to give him what he wants, um, how he wants, when he wants. Then you have an earth sign man who works a lot and who can be a great benefit to you. He's a worker. Um and, and he's available. He doesn't want any drama, ladies. This earth sign man, no drama. And he's willing to work things out. This man may have lost a spouse or um, have gone through a significant loss. Um, so he doesn't put too much stock in love, but he's willing to open himself up with you as long as there's no stress. I feel like you guys... Um, mm, I don't I feel like you're going to kind of like be done with people that you're dating or you're going to be trying to put people behind you, but you just can't get over this person. So I won't keep pulling because this is ridiculous. I'll empty the deck. You'll get a handle on things better in July time. But right now you really are attached to another air sign man, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. He could be any sign, but there's another person that you want over everyone else, even though good, good candidates are coming your way. Like you just can't get him off of your mind mind Libra single men well you may you see here's the thing um some of you Libra single men don't go out there running your goddamn mouth where anybody wants to listen telling telling you about telling them about some woman that you can't let go of because that's how it's coming across or you're being very whiny and, and very much like a woman yourself like you're complaining a lot and there's nothing wrong with a man venting and sharing how he feels but it's not really appropriate when you're getting to know people <laughs> because I do see new love here but it, as soon as it comes in, it can leave because you're too busy talking about your pro woes and your own problems. I do see sex. I definitely see you being able to have sex, man, big time. And I feel like um, the thing is, is that either you or someone may feel like, OK, we had sex. Now we're in a relationship. <laughs> Some of you are still a little bit down about a love that was lost yeah you men are mm, you guys are just like these Libra women there's a woman that you really want that you still stalk and you watch this woman that's the woman that you really love that's the woman that you really want um and you're ready to give equally to this woman oh yeah you want this goddamn woo, you want this woman but you could be playing games with another woman that you really don't want because there's a specific, yeah, there's a specific woman you want. She could be a Libra like you or a Taurus. She could be any sign, but there's a woman that you want. That's the woman you really want deep down inside. And everyone else is just for entertainment purposes, whether they know it or not. So you could hurt someone, Libra single men, because you, you're going to have, you're attracting viable candidates, earth sign women, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, could be any sign, but you're attracting women who really want to settle down and get taken off the market, but you are not available because you only one woman you want to do that to. So you need to be very clear about that with women so that they know what they're getting themselves into. So you're not creating a bunch of karma for yourself. Couples. Let's look at couples. not happy Libra about where things are in this relationship with your person some of you may even take a trip or a travel just to disconnect from your person like you need to just you know clear your head and get your mind in a better get get back in a better headspace excuse me which is what it looks like you're gonna be wanting to do yeah it looks like you two of you had a fight or a fallout and you have your person, they are waiting for you, but there's a part of them that feels like this situation needs to be over and done with. You have your a person who also feels like the two of you need to either just end it completely or take a break from this relationship, okay? They feel like this 
really needs to be done with or they need to speak a huge truth and truth to you and I feel like their truth honestly is like they just need a minute they just really want a minute from the two of you they may feel like well why don't we explore a break with each other that type of thing yeah, because they're not really, they're really confused. They may be thinking of a lot of things about the situation and they just may need a break from you to get clarity about everything. But you may be feeling like now that you've taken your break or you've taken some time to yourself, you may feel like you're ready to come back in and work things out. They may not be on board with that, though. You both want to get to a place that's healthy and peaceful for both of you. Honesty and tr and truth and trust is a big issue here between the two of you. And sex is what kind of keeps us together. Emotions are here. Um, but it's that kind of thing of like we're not really dealing with the issues deep down inside. And someone has a hard time being honest or accepting the truth. Um, I see one of you suffering in silence and the problems between the two of you will continue because someone doesn't feel heard and the other per it's like one of you will suffer in silence while the other person will feel like everything is okay as long as their ego is being st um, stroked. Aries to Pisces, how do you feel about them? I don't even pen that. Anyway, Aries. <laughs> Aries may pick up their ball and, and move along. Um, they may feel like this is over. And if not now, in probably six months time, Taurus. It's not over for Taurus and they will be communicating with you, Libra, Gemini. They feel like the love is lost here and you've cut them out. It's cancer. Cancer has been stalking you. They want to know every single little bit about everything with you. <laughs> they may be questioning the kids about you too. Leo. Um, Leo wants to work on this. They still love you. They know you still love them. They want to put the work in Virgo. Virgo is a player or feels like you are. And I mean, big time player Libra. If you're dealing with another Libra, they want their ego stroke. Um, they may feel like, yeah, the love that you have together is so strong that it's, it's no breaking your bond. Libra, Scorpio. Scorpio wants to come back together and drop the nonsense and the third party, Sagittarius. Um, not so sure where this is going. They may even feel like divorce or breakup is up ahead somewhere, Capricorn. Letting this situation go, they want to be done with the back and forth, the childish behavior. They will be coming back slowly but surely. And Aquarius. They don't want any more drama, but they do want to continue to have sex with you. They can't let you go. Pisces. Pisces may feel like they're cutting this off. They don't want a commitment. Someone may not even do well with commitment. That's what I have for you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Libra.